Hi everyone, Elite Assassin here. I hope you guys are all having a great Friday. I'm actually recording this really, really early Friday morning. Um, I have to get ready to go back to work in the office starting next week. So I had to wake up early enough to get in the rhythm of going back to the office because I have like a 45 minute, half hour drive. So instead of waking up around like 7 for a 7.30 shift, I woke up at like 5.45 for a 7 a.m. shift. So if I sound tired, I do apologize. Today I would like to talk about some game types from Halo 4 that I really hope do make a comeback in Halo Infinite. Now one, we saw in Halo 2 Anniversary, which is the gameplay you're seeing in the background now, but the other one seems to kind of have been forgotten. And both of these game types were really, really solid additions to Halo 4. It was a shame they were not back in Halo 5. And I kind of want to bring them to the spotlight again. Now I know Halo 4 is definitely not everyone's favorite Halo when it comes to multiplayer, and I totally understand that. You know, in my opinion, it's arguably the worst Halo game at launch that we ever had. I would say that at, over time they definitely adjusted and made the game a lot better, and I would say it's now maybe tied with Reach. For, uh, title update reach for I guess would be third worst <laughs> on the list I mean in my opinion it goes launch Halo 4 launch Halo reach and then you have title update reach and Halo 4 at the end of its life cycle so better than nothing I guess <laughs> um, one thing though and I don't want to get into rankings that's not what the purpose of the video is about but one thing I do think it gets overlooked with Halo 4 is some of the game types that they introduced. Now, most of them weren't the best. I mean, we had Infinity Slayer, which was, in my opinion, just a disaster. Dominion, which wasn't one of my cup of tea. I see they were trying to do with territories. Regicide, which was an okay uh, variant on the VIP idea. We know, of course, they had CTF, which they added the Flagnum, which... I wasn't a fan of. I know the last video kind of had Halo 4 CTF gameplay, but it still wasn't my favorite cup of tea. I prefer the normal way of doing it. Flood, which was their zombies. They did change Oddball and Griffball to later throw the ball. And then there were the two additions that I want to talk about today, and that's Extraction and Ricochet. Now, Ricochet is the gameplay you're seeing in the background. And if you're not too familiar with the game type, I don't blame you. Ricochet was a game type that was added late into Halo 4's life cycle and was also added in Halo 2 Anniversary. This game mode was added to Halo 4 in a time when the game definitely needed a breath of fresh air. And I think Ricochet was definitely that. Halo 4 really didn't have an assault game mode. So this was a kind of a fun new way to look at Assault. Now for those of you who aren't too familiar with Ricochet, I'll break it down pretty quickly here for you. Ricochet is a team game mode where you have to take a ball that spawns usually in, a, in the center of the map and try to score in your opponent's goal. Now both teams have goals that spawn in their base usually where you'll have like a fly cap area. Like I said, you score points by taking the bomb and bringing it to your opponent's base. And how you score the ball depends on whether you run it in or throw it in. If you physically carry the ball into the goal, you will get 50 points. Or, you know, much like in Halo 4, you could throw the odd ball and throw the griff ball. You can also throw the ball in this, and if you throw it into the goal, you get 20 points. First team to 200 points wins. So you can either you know, throw the ball in 10 times or run it in 4 times to win or any combination of the two to get at least 200 points. Now Ricochet is definitely a little bit more of a casual game type. I doubt you'd be seeing any pro tournament running Ricochet matches. But I still think it's a fun, faster paced game type that is a great addition to the team objective playlist. I could definitely see being in a ranked 
team objective playlist. But like I said, definitely not in like the team arena or their equivalent of an infinite. It definitely allows for some fun uh, strategies with your friends. You will see in this video, my buddy Logan Grimnar decided at one point he wants to camp at the base and wait for one of us to throw the ball to him so he could score it in. And we do actually get it off once, so that was really fun. And, I don't know, it just has a different dynamic, I think, than a lot of the other game types. You really have to be on your toes at all times because with being able to throw the ball and score that way, enemy team can really throw the ball from anywhere as long as they have good angles. So, I don't know, like I said, it's definitely more on the casual side. I don't think quite an action stack game type, but one that I feel definitely has a place in Halo and it's definitely a nice change of pace when it comes to the other objective game types. Now, the other game type I wanted to talk about is also an objective game type, and that is Extraction. Now, Extraction was kind of a twist on territories in a way. Basically, the way Extraction worked is there would be three Extraction points on the map, and either one or two would be active depending on the round, and I'm not sure if it was random how many were active, or the map determined it, that I'm not quite sure. But like I said, one or two would be active at a time. What you'd have to do with extraction is, when your teammates are active to stand there and kind of arm the extraction point, and once the point is fully armed, and it took a few seconds to do that, you would have to defend the extraction site for around 30 to 45 seconds, depending on the map size, from the enemy team. If you were able to, do, to keep control of the extraction point for that amount of time, you'd get one point, and if you were unable to, the enemy team would be able to kind of override your extraction, and if they held out for the remainder of the time, they would get the point. So it was a really fun, and a little bit more of a competitive game type than Ricochet. I don't know if it was ever played in any um, professional tournaments at all, but I could definitely see it leaning more to a competitive side um, as opposed to more of the casual side. It was, in my opinion, a, a lot of fun. Um, the fact that you actually had to arm the objective definitely made it really tense, and you had to know when to go, you know, when to push in and arm the objective, and when to you know, just kind of fight over it, when to stay away. In my opinion, I definitely can see this working in as a competitive game type, and I feel at least it'd be nice to have a little bit more variation in our um, tournament matches. So when HCS starts up again, I think Extraction would be an awesome game to be in there if they were to bring it back. Now again, I don't know if either of these two game types will come back in Halo Infinite, but there are definitely two game types that 343 created that unfortunately weren't brought back to Halo 5, so we don't know what the future holds for them, but they were really good game types. Now, I don't know if you know player data showed that they are very popular. I know Halo 4's arena type gameplay might not have been the most popular, I do believe that their big team battle playlists were definitely more populated than the 4v4. Maybe it might have been 5v5. I, it's been so long since I played base uh, Halo 4, but you know, whatever the size of the playlist was for the more arena style gameplay, I, I don't think it was as popular as big team battle because Halo 4 lent itself better to big team battle, at least in my opinion. So I'm not sure if they maybe skewed the data on these game types or not, but I really do think, in my opinion, they should be brought back in some form, whether it be at launch on an infinite or maybe as an update. All right, guys, that's about all I wanted to say about these two. Again, I just kind of wanted to bring these two game types back to the forefront because I feel like they kind of got lost in the shuffle of Halo 4 and Ricochet to a point in Halo 2 um, Anniversary. You know, let me know down in the comments below are these two game types that you enjoyed in Halo 4, and would you want to see them come back? Or are there maybe some other game types that I, I'm not thinking of that you enjoyed from maybe, say, Halo Reach that you'd like to see return? Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching, and I'll talk to you later.